Hi, I'm Steve Litz. Welcome to Ryan Leibowitz's Bar Mitzvah Party. And as most of you know, when the nation celebrates its birthday, so does Ryan. He was born on July 4th, 1993 at 4.59 a.m. right here at South Miami Hospital. Ryan does have a bright future, but his past has been colorful too. This is Ryan on the day before he was born. July 4th was a banner day for the Leibowitz family. At age two, Ryan spent several months in a body cast after jumping off of the couch and breaking his femur bone. He spent lots of time in his red wagon and his beanbag chair, but he never let it get his spirits down. Ryan loves to travel. He's already been to 14 states and five different countries. He's organized, packs his own bags, and is always the first one in the family ready to leave. His travel highlights include Israel, Italy two times, Alaska, Whistler Mountain in Canada, and of course, New York City. Ryan has always been an honor student and his academic record speaks for itself. And nobody knows that better than Ada Marrero. She was Ryan's elementary school principal. I've known Ryan since he was a little baby in a stroller. He was that sweet little boy and that sweet young man, but he was also very independent and extremely bright. In addition to doing well in school, Ryan has always found time to have fun with family and friends. Patriotism and politics are in Ryan's blood. Earlier this year, he served as a page in the Florida State Legislature for Representative Dan Gelber. He says Ryan had a major impact on the legislative session. He really uh, was able to convince many of the legislators on some major policy initiatives. The bill that I'm not sure it's going to pass uh, because the, uh, the telecom industry isn't so happy with it is the, um, the, uh, the, the Ryan Leibowitz uh, cell phone reduction bill, which bans cell phones for uh, anyone under the age of 21. The Ryan Leibowitz driving augmentation bill uh, will actually raise the driving age in the state of Florida to 21. It would really take from a lot of young people the, the stress that comes with getting their own car and, and having that freedom and independence, and instead they can wait till they're 21 and begin to drive. He had another bill that we liked a lot. Um, it was a weekend curfew, the Ryan uh, Leibowitz weekend curfew bill, and it'll be at six o'clock. He wanted it at five. He thought it was important for kids to listen to the radio and play more board games with their parents on weekend nights. And In addition to politics, Ryan's interests include music, art, skiing, water sports, and in his spare time, he invents things. And Ryan also keeps a keen eye on his finances, and he thinks big, and that's caught the attention of the top brass at Gibraltar Private Bank and Trust. Bank Chairman Stephen Hayworth and VP Henny Hanin told us for a young man, Ryan sure knows a lot about investing. He's much more challenging than Matt is, to be honest with you. <laughs> But he's teaching me a lot along the way, and, and I'm hoping I'm doing the same for, for, for him as well. Because with most of our clients, we're encouraging their parents to get their kids involved. In this instance, we have you know, a highly uh, educated, terrific young man that is incredibly interested in the family's finances. Ryan's story would not be complete without hearing from somebody who actually lives with him. While he and brother Brandon may fight like cats and dogs, deep down, we think they really love each other. He's a very special kid. Uh, I love him a lot and even though sometimes I don't really show it.
So there you have it, the story of Ryan from birth right up until this point. Debbie and Matt are thrilled you are here to share in this milestone in Ryan's life. We now invite you to make your way into the arena for Ryan's All-American Picnic.